So I was just sitting here a few minutes ago, enjoying myself a Philly cheesesteak from this nice local spot. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm scrolling my Twitter feed. I'm just looking to see if there's any crazy stuff that's going on. And I came across this situation, which based on the title, I'm sure there's already a lot of you that have rushed in here to just start typing and leaving comments because the title does say something about it being Kendrick Lamar's affiliate who was caught with a 15 year old girl. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that at the end, but this is what everybody's searching right now. So obviously, if I want to get this video in front of you so we could have this discussion, I have to type it based on what's being searched, what's going viral, and then we can kind of dive a little bit further into it. But before we get into all that, let's just talk about the actual situation. So there is an OG YouTuber by the name of Vitaly, which I'm sure a lot of you guys may know he used to do pranks. And I used to like them. I used to watch them when I was younger. I heard that some of them were fake, if not all of them. I didn't know this at the time, so I enjoyed it for what it was. But he's since started to do streams on Kick, and his whole thing now is I'm going to catch predators. And it's kind of like a Chris Hansen setup. It's just not as smooth. Like he ain't coming out from behind the curtain and saying, hey, my name's Chris. Why don't you have a seat over there? They more so just bombard these guys. And a few times people have been hit. They kind of just rush them and, and make it a really chaotic situation which I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm hoping that some of these people are actually getting in trouble and it's not just for content and views. Now, some of them have even been proven to be fake or said to be fake. I haven't looked further into it, but some of them do seem real at the same time. And I believe that this is one of them. But for anyone that's unfamiliar with the process, they basically set up a dating profile or something online. And I'm pretty sure that it starts off saying that the person is of age, although probably very young. And then in the conversation, they'll say, well, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a 15 year old girl or I'm a 15 year old boy. And then they see if the other person decides to continue to engage with them. And if they do, they eventually set up a meeting. They have somebody who kind of acts as if they're this 15 year old boy or girl meet them. And then they come rushing out at them. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. Do you, do you want to play a game or no? I'm not playing no game with you. I already know who you are, bro. You feel me? It's some whack ass shit, bro. I ain't got time for this weird ass shit. Okay. I knew this shit was a setup. You rather you you rather go the other you route. Why did I come? Yeah. Bro, cause I don't, bro, I'm gonna be you honest with you. Girl. I'm gonna be honest with you. You feel me? Like I ain't had no pussy in a long time, bro. You feel me? That it is what it is. You feel me? I'm not no like weirdo or nothing. Bro, so bro, why fifteen? Let, 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 let go ahead, go ahead. Let me, let me talk, bro. Hold on, bro. You never talk, talk with my boy Santos like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should eat something first. Do you think? I mean, I guess. You think? Do you like pizza? Yeah. Like oh, you do? Oh, okay, me too. What was, your, what was your favorite video? What favorite video? You say you know me. <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I, know who, I know who you are, bro. Oh, you really? You set up and, catch, and, and do this type of shit, bro. Catch pedophiles, yes. But wait, wait, hold on. But you said you know who I am and I like, catch people. So when you were matching her, she said she's 15, but I didn't hit your head. Like, oh, that's probably the guy. Bro, I don't fucking know. You feel me? It's all type bro, of girls. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, bro. This is why I just work and I just do my shit, bro. Now, I haven't watched all the different content that Vitaly's been putting out around catching these predators. We did talk about somebody in the past who was like a film director or something on some big movies, which was pretty crazy to see. But I don't think we've ever seen somebody give what seems like a motivational speech in the middle of them getting caught, which is exactly what this guy did, because he turns to the camera and starts talking about how this is why you don't involve yourself online. You just mind your business and all these different things. Just, just listen to what he says. I got, I have, I have a life to attend to, bro. You feel me? I got responsibilities to take care of, bro. You feel me? And I'm not going to be played for no fool when mother just want to take advantage and do some weird shit. But why don't you block her when she says she's 15? I don't know. Nigga. You're a good looking guy, you know bro. I don't know. You feel me? Times is hard right now. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's where I fucked up at. And I can own up to that. But what the nigga not going to do is play me for a fucking fool and embarrass me all over social media and all over the fucking world, bro. You feel me? That's what the not going to do. I want to fuck you balls deep. Yeah, I said all that. I said all that. It, everything that you said. All it ain't no things, vulnerable you moment. You know what I'm saying? Every, but I'm just saying, though. Everything I said. This ain't no vulnerable said moment, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm owning up to that. <laughs> But y'all know some straight bullshit. Yo. You can't say like we like we played you up. It's just it's funny to hear him try to explain it from his side. And he may be telling the truth, but it doesn't change the outcome, right? Like it doesn't change the actions. That's like me saying all these different things around why I murdered somebody, but I still murdered someone. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't change that fact. Either way, this is a very interesting one because of the fact that he is being tied to Kendrick Lamar. And of course, you know that Drake fans is going to come out the woodwork and they're going to jump on this. And I totally understand it because it's happened back and forth with both fan bases. 
But they're like, yo, this this man made not like us. And his whole attack of Drake has been about him talking to underage girls and saying that he's a pedo. And yet somebody that seems like he's affiliated with him is doing the same things. Now, before we dive into whether or not I think he's affiliated with him, I do want to say that it really doesn't matter because you, you don't know that your friend is doing shit like this. It's crazy to me that I see on Twitter every time somebody gets outed for something, people want to go and attack the friends or anybody that's ever been around them as if they knew and they were in on it. That's not how this works. And I've said this many times before. Like, I, you guys are really telling me that you talk to your friends about every interaction that they have with every single person. Are you literally just walking around town up their ass everywhere that they go so you know everything that they do? Because that's, that's not really how this works. I have friends, I have no idea what girls they talk to, I don't know who they slept with, like not everybody shares all this information. And if the person is underage, you know damn well they're not gonna share that information because they don't know how you're gonna think about it. They, they, they definitely aren't thinking, well, this person's gonna be on my side because we're friends. It's like, hell no, that's how you lose everybody around you by doing some weird F shit like this. So even if he is an affiliate of Kendrick Lamar, it doesn't mean anything. Now, if Kendrick continued to associate with this person and try to give excuses for him, then you're fully valid to say all the shit that I'm seeing on Twitter. But just saying like, because he's in some pictures with this guy that he clearly is on the side of this guy, like it, that, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't change his message and not like us. It doesn't change his approach to what he was saying to Drake. It doesn't change any of that. It just means that some weird goofy dude may have infiltrated his, his camp, his friendship. And that's just, it's messed up, honestly. Like, if anything, we should be feeling bad for him that he's in this kind of a situation. Now, whether or not he's actually affiliated, I don't know. Because there are a bunch of pictures that people have started to post, and he was even in the music video. So right now, I'm just going to flip through a couple of the different pictures that I've seen on Twitter that have popped up. It appears like he's been in quite a few with Kendrick, and I don't know exactly what that means because fans also meet up with people, take pictures all the time, and that could be all that this is. And as I tried looking a little further into this, I did find a tweet from someone who's not associated with any of these parties, but he says, these MFs are so R word. The pics this guy has with Kendrick are from 2014 and 2015. He is 27 right now, which means he was around 17 at the time. He went to the same school Kendrick went to and Kendrick used kids from his school to appear in one of his commercials. And they posted a picture of this person, Rykees Tyson. So it's possible that this person is not an affiliate of Kendrick Lamar at all. But again, even if he is, I don't think that it matters. None of you out there should ever be held responsible for something that your friend does because if you don't know about it, it's, it's not your fault and it's not your job to know every single thing that a person around you does. You're, you're, you're friends with them because you trust them to be a good person. You trust them to be a good friend. And so you're not thinking, well, I gotta follow them and you know hire a private investigator and see what they're doing because they might be going out and talking to kids or they might go and murder somebody. Like that, that has nothing to do with you. When somebody does that, your response to it and how you handle it is exactly what matters. If somebody goes out and does this around you and then you separate from them, you denounce everything that they did and you completely go a different way and don't mess with them anymore, then it's not on you. Now, if you try to defend them or you put them down but secretly stay friends with them, that could be a little bit different. Now you're gonna get looked at funny because that's a little bit weird. That's not what you should do. Like I have friends in my life, I don't know what they do every day. I don't even talk to them every day. We talk every so often. I trust that they're good friends and they're good people. And if something came out like this where they did some, I just separate from them. I wouldn't talk to them anymore. It's just so weird to me that Twitter is on this weird, and it's not even Twitter really. It's just, it's the internet in general and people just have nothing to do with their lives. And so they look for stuff like this so they could just jump and attack. And the reason why a lot of these times is because these two fan bases, they don't like each other now because of this back and forth. And I've been seeing it on and off ever since that battle happened. Kendrick fans getting at Drake, talking shit to Drake fans, Drake fans getting at Kendrick, talking shit to Kendrick fans. And it's just, it's back and forth. And anytime something like this happens, is people is gonna jump on this shit with the quickness because they're like, ah, look, I told you, y'all was hating on my guy, look at your guy now. And it's just, it's so weird and goofy, but this is what the internet is anymore. This is what we do in 2024. So I'm not surprised by it, but I just wanted to talk about it because of the attachment to the Kendrick and Drake beef, which we covered. We talked about in commentary videos. We did reactions to the songs, all of that stuff. So I thought that this was something valid and worth talking about. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.